right, folks, let's dive into this. The purpose of today's video is to do a quick review of the Windows 10 gaming performance. Now, obviously, this is not a public release version. This is not the gold standard of Windows 10. This is the latest build of the beta, which is Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview Build 10.130, which actually just came out uh, at the beginning of this week, the same time that Microsoft announced general availability of Windows 10, which is going to be June 29th. So just under a month away, you'll be able to get your hands on Windows 10 cool part update from windows 7 and windows 8 8.1 for free for the first year which is nice they're obviously trying to compete with apple by giving us a free update hopefully it won't just be for one year but let's take a look at my gaming rig now this is not a multi, uh, an ultra new or ultra modern gaming rig i've had this gaming rig for a few years now i actually did an unboxing video of it back in 2011 um, the one thing i've done is i've upgraded the graphics card and i've upgraded my hard drives i had 10,000 rpm um, hard drives in the system. I've since upgraded those hard drives to two, two 256 gig SSDs running in RAID 0. Um, and I have upgraded to a GeForce GTX 780. And this is the EVGA classified version, which I did an unboxing of that you can take a look at. Um, but it is an older processor. Um, I'm running an i7-930, which is clocked at 2.8, but I am overclocking it at uh, about 3.5 gigahertz, just over 3.5 gigahertz, as you can see over here by CPU-Z um, with my overclock. I've got 12 gigs of RAM in the system. Um, I am running the 3.5284 build of the beta Windows 10 drivers for NVIDIA. And I am currently running on my 23-inch monitor at a 16 by, 1680 by 1050. So I'm not running a modern monitor or a, a gaming monitor with extremely fast refresh rates. It's a standard 60-frame refresh rate, um, smaller display. I don't have, this machine is literally just dedicated for my gaming and I just haven't upgraded to a, a full 1080p or a 4k monitor. So those are the system specs that I'm running this uh, demo on and uh, I wanted to jump in and just see, you know, I, I put this beta build on because I wanted to see is there going to be improvements in gaming over the old Windows 8.1. I, I did a similar video back with when Windows 8 came out. Um, and I went ahead and decided I was going to install the upgrade, uh, the beta version of Windows 10 to kind of see how things were. So let's just jump in real quick and take a look at a few games. Um, I am using the NVIDIA um, game optimizer for all the games, so I have optimal settings on all of the games. I've disabled VSync on a couple of the games, even though I can't stand not running VSync because I hate screen tearing. Um, so you'll be able to see the frame rates that the game is producing. However, when I play, just know that um, if it's anything over 60, it's going to sit at 60 because I use VSync because I just can't stand um, screen tearing. So let's just jump in. This is not the latest version of Battlefield, uh, which is Hardline. This is Battlefield 4. Um, but I can tell you when I was playing the Battlefield Hardline beta, I just haven't bought uh, Battlefield Hardline just yet. Kind of got bored with the FPS thing because I played entirely too much Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 for a couple of years. Um, but Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline were both running at the same frame rates back when I was playing the old beta build. So it's going to be roughly the same. So let's just jump in real quick. Uh, let's just jump into some action here and take a look at what we can get as far as frame rates. And I'm currently sitting at 75. Um, and again, I would have VSync on. Let's get down to the ground quickly. I would have VSync on if I was actually playing this, but for, for the video, I've turned it off so I can kind of get an idea of what type of frame rates that I get. So let's, uh, I gotta turn this volume down in my ear. I can barely hear myself think. So I'm sitting at 81 frames per second right now. And as you can see, you know, we've got some particles in the air. There's not a lot going on right now in this scene where I'm sitting at about 76. I'd like to encounter somebody. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm not trying to take the flag. I'm trying to do a demo. So I got a helicopter. Let's see, where is he at? He's up there. All right, let's just uh, head on over here to Bravo. Maybe there'll be um, somebody that I can go fight with uh, over at Bravo. But we're sitting at 62, 67, 68, 70, 69. So as less things are moving on the screen, obviously the frame rate goes up. 62. And as you can see, Pitbike Rider is my uh, my alias on Battlefield. So if you want to look me up on Battlefield, both Battlefield 3, which I don't play anymore, and Battlefield 4, which I've kind of gotten back into playing a little bit while I've been uh, testing out Windows 10, you can look me up. It's Pitbike Rider. That is my account name. But here we can see I'm running at about 58, 59 frames per second. So it dropped below 60 here with all these particles. 
And to be honest with you, uh, I've been playing the game for about a week or so now, just kind of putting it through its paces and, and comparing some of my old gaming videos and just kind of keeping track of you know, where I used to be performance-wise on Battlefield. And it's definitely sitting um, anywhere between three and, five, 3 and 5 frames faster than I was getting with Windows 8.1. And I did not do an upgrade to Windows 8.1. I actually went ahead and do, did a fresh install. So I wiped my drives installed the Windows 10 preview um, and have been playing this uh, just for demo purposes and, and wanting to see how Windows 10 was going to perform when it does come out and is made available. Um, so that's that's a quick look at Battlefield. Not a whole heck of a lot of action. I, I guess I chose a server that didn't have a, enough people to truly show some fighting in the game. But uh, for the purpose of showing frame rates, it's sitting between 60 and 70. It's hovering back and forth between 60 and 70 very consistently. So that is what, uh, let's try and kill this guy before. I gotta, I gotta be able to say I at least died or killed somebody at least once on the game. Oh, I went up the elevator. All right. Well, that is Battlefield 4, um, 86 frames right now. Nobody coming out. So let's go ahead and quit out of this and let's hop into another game. Um, I've pre-queued up uh, so that's an example of a first-person shooter, right, um, on my system. Like I said, my system, my specs, which I outlined at the beginning of this video, I'm getting anywhere between 3 and 5 frames better playing Battlefield than I was using 8.1. There's been a lot of optimization done um, in Windows 10, and that's an example. So let's take a look at Marvel Heroes 2015. And if you haven't been playing Marvel Heroes, if you like Diablo and you're a big Diablo fan, but you love the Marvel Universe and you like all of the Marvel characters, you got to play Marvel Heroes. It's exact same gameplay. Um, it works exactly the same when it comes to, you know, specking your characters and, and, but you're in the, mo the Marvel world, which is really, really fun. So I play Black Widow here and they actually just updated the game. Um, and there's new spec tree. So I actually don't have any skills specked out down at the bottom. Let me run out onto the main street and we'll take a look at, you know, what the game looks like. So it's sitting, obviously I've got V-Sync on, it's sitting at 60 frames Drop even. There. Uh, but you can see there's lots of effects going on here, and uh, it's sitting in steady 60 frames, and also getting much faster than 60 frames in reality. But uh, this is, here we go, this is what we're showing right now, 60 frames constant, and I do believe the, the graphic settings are maxed out in the game. Oh, that's my guy, I don't want to try to shoot him. Let's see, let's just run around here for a second. Yeah, I just don't have any... Uh, I've got to respec my character. But steady at 60 frames. The graphics are maxed out. So for those of you who play these top-down games, you know, Heroes of the Storm or Diablo or, or Marvel, um, you know, again, the frame rates that we're seeing are specific to my system, so don't tell me that my frame rates are horrible and yours are better, because if you've got a newer computer, you probably do have much better frame rates. So I'm sitting at around 60 frames. So for my gaming experience, it's where I want to be. It's 60 frames. You know, that's my sweet spot. You know, screen tearing, it's only a 60 hertz monitor. So anything above that is kind of not worth having because I'm going to put on uh, V-Sync anyway. But uh, there you have it. 60 frames per second playing Marvel Heroes. And I'm going to go ahead and come back into the Avengers building. Let's see here. I want to port back to the... Uh, why can't I? Well, whatever. All right, so there you go. There is Marvel Heroes. And again, let's take a look at my graphics settings. Graphics settings should be pretty much maxed out. Um, yeah, everything's pretty much maxed out on everything. So um, that is Marvel Heroes. And again, it's not an intensively graphics intensive game to begin with, but it definitely runs really, really well. But let's take a look at uh, Shadows of Mordor. Pretty intensive game. Um, if you're not familiar with Shadows of Mordor, it plays exactly like the Assassin's Creed game. So if you enjoy the Assassin's Creed gameplay, but you like Lord of the Rings and you like the Middle Earth um, environment with Oryx and heroes and you know elves and all the history around Mordor and the Lord of the Rings, this is a fantastic game. It's a lot of fun. Same exact gameplay is uh, Assassin's Creed. Really cool story. Um, and I actually, you know, I, I got to a point in this game where I was getting a little bit bored because I played a lot of Assassin's Creed and then I picked this game up and I was having issues getting further in the game and I had uninstalled it a while ago. And when I installed the Windows 10 Preview, I went ahead and reinstalled this game. And I ended up beating the game uh, running with Windows 10. So I'm currently sitting 
the settings based on NVIDIA's re uh, recommendations, and I'm getting 100 frames right now. V-Sync is turned off, and I turned that off with this video. Um, let's go ahead and kind of play with this for a minute so you can see what gameplay is like on this game. And we're sitting at 73 frames per second, 98. Right, mouse clicks and buttons being going crazy because that's the nature of this game. It's not necessarily a button smashing game, but there is a lot of stuff that you gotta do for all of the different types of attacks that the game offers. But it's a great game, a lot of fun. As you can see, the graphics are pretty intense and they're they're beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful game to begin with. And I'm running it over 100 frames per second at my resolution with most of my options set at recommended. I believe there might be a few settings that aren't on ultra or high or the highest setting, whatever they call it in this game. Uh, but the game still looks beautiful and plays perfectly smooth, 100 frames per second, which means if I don't have settings that are maxed out, I should probably actually max them out because I'll be able to still stick at my kind of 60 frame sweet spot that I like. And again, just to reiterate, I do not have uh, a gaming monitor. It is a 23-inch Dell monitor running at 1680 by 1050. So I'm not running, you know, full 1080p, and I'm obviously not running at 4K, but it does the trick for me. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here, get into a safe place, and we'll take a look at some settings here real quick. So if I come into options and I go to video, VSync is off. Um, and under, 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 uh, yeah, so I've got high, ultra, medium. Let's bump that to high and bump this up to high and see how much that changes my frame rate. So I was sitting around between 90 and 100 a moment ago. Let's crank a couple of those settings up, and I'm sitting at 90, low 90, which, again, what that means is I can probably max my graphics out on this game. And, in fact, let's do that. Let's go ahead and go into options, video, and let's just set this to ultra. Very high ultra. There we go. Now let's see where we sit. <coughs> as long as I'm hovering over 60, I'm happy. And I am. I'm at 80, 70. I dropped drop to 79. Obviously, the more NPCs that are on screen, it will cause that to drop a little bit because the CPU has to render those movements. But let's see what's going on. About a half a dozen or so guys, and it's at 90 frames. So the NVIDIA recommendations are actually not necessarily optimal uh, for this game because I'm getting 100 and I've set it to ultra settings. So the game is even more beautiful than it was a few moments ago, and it's still running just fine. And I know, if I remember right, I was not able to get anywhere near the 90s when I was on Ultra running 8.1. It obviously has to do with the beta drivers for my graphics card and some optimization to Windows. Now granted, it wasn't down in the 40s or 50s, but um, I'm definitely seeing better performance um, that I can recall playing this game. So that's Shadows of Mordor. Let's go ahead and hop out of here real quick. Let's take a look at... Let's see, what else shall we take a look at? Let's take a look at Dragon Age Inquisition. Again, another pretty intensively um, graphic-filled game that is definitely going to tax the system and, and see how this runs. <clears throat> so, load screen, 123, 185, 179 frames per second during the load screen. Go figure. All right, let's just jump into this really quickly, run around a little bit. I know I'm in a village, so there's not a lot of action going on, but I do believe there's a pretty significant amount of uh, NPCs where I'm actually saved at in the game. Just started playing this game a little while ago. Beautiful game, absolutely love it. As you can see just from the loading screens, absolutely gorgeous game. And here we have it. We are hanging out. Oh, another load screen. So far, I've been really happy with Windows 10. There's been some quirks for sure um, as the beta builds have come out. Uh, had issues with the graphic, the icons on the start menu looking like just total poop for a while. And then they fixed that and have had consistent issues with the sound card drivers 
where I have to go into control panel and disable and re-enable my sound card for audio to work if I reboot the system or come in and out of games. But uh, it's definitely, you know, I use Windows 10 as a gaming platform and a gaming platform only. Um, obviously, I have my work computers, which are Windows 7. But this system here that I'm actually making this video on is dedicated to nothing but gaming for me. Um, I'm currently sitting at 53 frames per second. So let's take a look at the graphics options that we've got on this one. And uh, ultra, ultra, custom, ultra, 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 ultra. So pretty much ultra with two times over sam uh, multi-sampling for the anti-aliasing. And we're sitting at around 55 frames with all these NPCs on screen. So if I run around... Yeah, it's 55, 56, which is obviously more than acceptable. I like to see 60, a steady 60, so I'm wondering if maybe I went and dropped something down that I'm not so um, concerned about. Obviously, you can see we got some great shadow features of the trees blowing in the wind. We've got some snow particles, a good dozen or more NPCs that are all fighting, and we're sitting at 56, so pretty much as close as you can get to 60 without being 60. And this game is maxed out right now. Um, again, my resolution is a little bit lower than, uh, you know, I'm not running 1080p resolution. I am running uh, 1680 by 1050. Um, and uh, it's working pretty well. 50 frames per second is acceptable to me. So that's a quick look at Dragon Age Inquisition. So there you have it. That's just a quick overview. I wanted to see and, and kind of talk briefly about what I saw when I went from 8.1 to the beta builds of 10.0. Obviously 10 has got its quirks still because it is in beta and they're fixing that. But as far as gaming performance with the beta versions of the NVIDIA graphics card drivers that are out um, and my system specs, again, I'm overclocked at 3.5 on my i7-930, which is an old CPU. Uh, 12 gigs of RAM, and I'm I'm having a really enjoyable gaming experience. I'm not. I'm able to upgrade to the latest version of the operating system, get Windows 10 up and running, which does offer some cool new features. Uh, obviously, DirectX 12 looks beautiful. My graphics card, which is the GTX 780 by EVGA Classified, doesn't support um, DirectX 12, but some of the DirectX 12 stuff that is going to be supported by Windows 10 is absolutely stunning. If you haven't looked that up, uh, go do a Google and uh, do a search for DirectX 12 demo. And I think you'll be quite impressed. So a simple graphics card upgrade and I'll have DirectX 12 full support both on a hardware and a software level. And this system, even though it's an older GPU, seems like it's still going to last me a little bit uh, longer. Now, granted, I would love to upgrade this system. And when the budget allows for it, I might do so. But for the time being, I've got a four-year-old computer that I've upgraded my graphics card and my hard drives. And we're going to run Windows 10 flawlessly and have a very enjoyable gaming performance on this system. So that's it. I'm going to conclude this video. Windows 10 gaming performance. Uh, everything works great for me. Again, your specs and your system is definitely going to offer you different frame rates and a different experience than what I have. But uh, I think you're going to see a little bit of a frame rate improvement from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 just based on the optimization that they did. And more importantly, the driver updates that whatever manufacturer graphics card that you may have, whether it be an ATI or an NVIDIA card, will offer. So as always, thanks for watching. Like us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, subscribe, leave some comments if you would like uh, to see any other Windows 10 type videos. I was thinking about doing an overview video of the Windows 10 interface because it has changed a little bit from Windows 8 um, to Windows 10, Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 and offers a few new cool things. But uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and have a great day.